Well, times are tough right now, I know. We're facing more stress and anxiety over this pandemic than maybe we've ever felt before. And I've never had just so many conversations with people about the news, right? I mean, we're all watching, we're all waiting, we're all just doing whatever we have to do right now to protect ourselves, to protect our families, and to just help out as best as we can, as much as we're able. So today, I just want to turn our attention to some advice that Peter gives to the church when it was facing severe persecution. Just some things that are really helpful for us, I think, today. So in 1 Peter 5, verse 5, it says this, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. So be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. So I'm going to cover this really quick, so don't worry, but there are five things that I just want to point out in this passage today that I think are really helpful for us. First, humble yourself. God will oppose the proud. So don't be too proud right now. If you need help, don't be too proud to admit that you need help. And if you're doing better than most people right now, don't get prideful about that either. Humble yourself and just do whatever you can to help others who are less fortunate than you. Second, God's hand is strong enough to hold your anxiety so it's okay to back up your dump truck of anxiety and just dump it all on God, okay? Tell God exactly how you feel. Throw all your worries at him because he is strong enough to handle it. And third, God cares for you. Don't, do you understand how amazing that is? I mean, out of like the seven billion odd some people in the world today, the God of the universe loves you. He cares for you and he knows every single detail about your life and he still loves you anyways. I mean, he, he knows you better than you know yourself and he still cares for you. That, that's amazing. Fourth, resist your adversary by standing firm in your faith. Don't stand alone because you aren't alone. There are others throughout the world, other brothers, other sisters in Christ who are going through the same thing you're doing. Know that there are others facing the same suffering as you. And frankly, there are many who have it worse than we do right now. Fifth, you will suffer for a little while. But right now is not forever. We got to get that clear. God will restore you. Things will go back to normal eventually. This pandemic here, it's going to fade into a distant memory. And we will spend eternity with the Lord in heaven, where he will rule and reign in glory forever. So anytime you have anxiety, it should be a signal, kind of like the check engine light in your car. Anxiety is like a warning sign that you need to drop everything you're doing and you need to pray. Cast all your anxiety on the Lord and know that he is stronger than your fears, that he cares for you, that you aren't alone in your fight, and that this is only temporary.